Wondering where all these beautiful pins are coming from and how you can amplify your reach on Pinterest? Watch this video for my five best tips on how to make your pins go viral. And be sure to stick around all the way till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can leverage the Pinterest business model to increase revenue for your small business. For the best online tech hacks for bloggers and small business owners, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be the first to know when I post a brand new video every Wednesday. If you're paralyzed on how to create a pin that gains a lot of traction fast, by the end of this video, you will have five techniques you can implement right now today to get huge amounts of traffic to your website. I'm Kate Murray, and after spending 14 years in corporate and agency marketing, I've seen one too many business owners struggle with getting online advertising right. People are highly visual. A great design is the first impression that people get of your brand. Not only am I going to teach you how to create an eye-catching pin design, you will also know exactly what to do when people click it. Let's dive in. To do the actual creative design, I recommend getting started with an account from Design Wizard. A lot of people already use Canva, but I like Design Wizard. Design Wizard offers templates that are already designed. You can just change up the colors and the fonts and add your branding. You don't want to use the exact same template for every single pin because then people will think that they've already seen that pin and they'll scroll right by. Step number two, you don't want to use too much text on your pin design. Keep it to just a few words and make sure to use fonts that people can read. Remember, it needs to be able to catch their attention when it's really small, so you don't want to put too much text on your pin. Step number three, each pin needs to have a keyword rich description. How do you find keywords? The best place to start is right inside the Pinterest search bar. Pinterest is a search engine. That means that the search bar functions just like a Google search. As you can see, Pinterest actually gives me suggestions, just like Google. So the metadata inside the pin gets pulled into the search results based on what you add inside your pin description. Here's a pro tip. Most people look at their Google Analytics on a regular basis, but did you ever think to look at Pinterest Analytics? Let me know in the comments below. Tip number four, you wanna create multiple different pin designs for the same blog post as many as four or five different pins. The reason for this is like any search engine, Pinterest loves fresh new content, so you can always refresh an older blog post with a brand new pin. You'll know very quickly which pins are performing best by looking at the data inside Tailwind. Then you can adjust your pins and your designs to do more of what's working. If you haven't heard of Tailwind, it's a really great scheduling tool. Each day you can see how many people share your pins and collaborate with other businesses in your niche. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the comments below. Tip number five. Think about who is seeing your pin. Pins shouldn't be about you. You don't want to have a picture of yourself on your pin. Remember, you are trying to solve someone else's problem. Think about it like this. Would you be more likely to click on a pin that says, how I earned $10,000 last month? Or would you rather click on a pin that says five easy steps to earning $10,000 a month with your blog? Now that you've created a beautiful pin, what are you going to do with all that website traffic? To actually make money, the secret is to leverage the Pinterest business model. You can get started today with my free checklist. There's a link in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe because next week I'll be talking all about how to make money with Pinterest if you don't even have a blog yet.